here with the SD Association. Hello, so who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin Scher with the SD Association. And uh, hi, so who are you? I'm Yossi Pinto, the chairman of the SD Association. So uh, the SD Association, is that the... Uh, you set the standard for SD cards. Correct, we set the standards for SD cards and devices that use SD cards today. Uh, and today we introduced our new application performance class 2, which uh, provides a greater amount of write and speed IOPS uh, for more advanced applications that can run off the micro SD card. We introduced the application performance class in November of 2016, uh, which allows uh, consumers to buy micro SD cards um, that will operate uh, with apps. So basically, you can run apps off of your micro SD card if you have a card that uses the A1 or the A2. If you have a UHS uh, 1 or what's it called, 2, or the fastest one, it, it's not for apps? Is it a specific one for apps? So A2 is specific, A1 and A2 are specifically designed to support apps. UHS is for moving uh, the data off of the card uh, between the card and the device more quickly. And on Friday, we introduced UHS-3, which provides 624 megabytes uh, per second uh, data bus transfer speeds. That's awesome. So that's the fastest SD card standard ever. Uh, the UHS-1, it's not, not quite related to A, A2 or A1. A1 and A2 was uh, invented as a classification that combines um, random performance and sequential performance in allowing as, as Kevin said, uh, consumers uh, to know what type of card to buy that will meet their, their devices. So if you want an SD card for your smartphone, you should choose an A. But if you yes. want an SD card for a camera... If, if, you, if you want to use it with applications on it, okay? Right. right. Yeah, because A, A1 cards are going to work for, for the everyday consumer today. So, um, I've seen uh, th there was one company showing a phone, but I think there should be so many other phones showing two SD card slots, and is there any, does it make sense? What? Two SD cards? Yeah, no, and would, it, would it make SIM. sense, would it, would it maybe speed up if you could uh, 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 merge them, what's it called, uh, if you could do a, uh, uh, what do you call, RAID, SD card RAID, yeah. Yeah. does that make any sense? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe? Nice. <laughs> because now, you, you could uh, speed up and have faster uh, app, Yeah, there are access. cameras, there are cameras that are doing that. There are cameras that have dual slots and doing this, what you're saying. Uh, currently, probably there was not really a need for a sequential, so so high sequential write, which is required in cameras. That's why they are doing such a dual slot uh, usage. Uh, in, in in mobile applications, we found that uh, uh, it was found that there is a need for random performance requirements, since uh, Google started to do the card adoption mode, allowing uh, applications to run on card like two years ago in Android Marshmallow. So that's why. That idea was... Uh, but it's not every app that can run on the SD card. They have some kind of limitation? Uh, no, it, it meets the requirement, the minimum requirement that uh, Google is asking to have for a, for a device to run applications. So, uh, Because a smartphone is much bigger than the micro SD card, I'm just thinking the space for four. I just want to have lots of storage. It'd be great to have four SD card slots. But you, you have, how, you have, how expensive you have, would it be? You have currently you have 256 gigabyte of That's card. great, but uh, I want one terabyte. <laughs> Ten years ago, I had a media yes. player with 500 gigs. Yeah. So, so yeah. like, when I've merged four, yeah, is it just one dollar extra for one more port? Propose that to Huawei or... Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So you have lots of companies in the industry, they all uh, sit around the table with you? Or, and yeah, we have, about, we have about 900 members who all work together to create the SD specifications. And that creates the backwards compatibility and interoperability that consumers love today. And uh, how does it work, this technology? Because it's crazy. But how can you put so many gigabytes in like a, a thumbnail? That's a, that's a memory technology, actually. So uh, actually, you talked with uh, Sandisk on that. Uh, it's magic, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, the technology today allows us it, uh, uh, the physics. Okay, it's, it's, uh, We're talking about solid state devices that uh, you can come to this uh, capability. This is a really a huge achievement of uh, technology nice. and science. <laughs> and now we need to record 4K, um, 60 frames per second from the phone. It need more and more bandwidth. And 360 is more and more uh, requirements. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, and, we, and we introduced last year a new video speed class to address uh, those higher video requirements 
recording needs. So that, that's been addressed, and you'll see the v, v mark with the number next to it that will indicate which level of card you need to perform a 4K video or 360 degree VR, those types of things.